listen to what people are interested in talking about. So for some people that's their course, you know, oh, I'm really stressed, you know, I've got so many exams, or this is all coming together all at this time, you know, what do I do? For other people it's, it's more about life situations and, um, and circumstances. Why I do, especially chaplaincy, um, is I think that I'm meeting uh, a lot of people probably from different countries, from different situations. Uh, their needs can be great or their needs can be few. I just love being there, talking about these things with people and hopefully helping them along their journey. I love working with a bunch of uh, young people who are um, committed and yet still wrestling with, with their faith and life issues. Um, they are very, on the whole, intelligent, thoughtful, um, passionate people who uh, are really keen on doing something real with their life. I've always said that the best piece of equipment that a, a chaplain has is the two things either side of their head. We're there to hear. I think the common thing is to have someone to be there and just listen to them, more so than any spiritual conversation or anything, just a safe place, a haven. Sometimes someone will walk out at the end of the session and say, gee, I feel better now. And all they've done is found someone who's, who is there and available and has got two ears to listen to what it is they want to talk about. I think that one of the, one of the things, one of the great gifts that chaplaincy gives to the university is that we are some of the few, very few people around uni who have time to spend uh, time almost to waste in a conversation or a relationship that's, that's not, doesn't necessarily have a result-oriented um, kind of outcome, um, that, that we have the time just to be with people. As a reward is that you learn a lot from those people. I don't think it's just giving, I think you receive and I think throughout my life it's been that. You know, you might give something, but I think actually you receive more sometimes than what you give. Yeah, that's, that's the core reason of, of why I do what I do now.